And now, the General Hospital Marathon event. Brenda Barrett's men. Three hours of Brenda. Brenda's favorite men. Sonny Corinthus. Jasper Jacks. Jason. Not romantically. And while you watch, get a sneak peek from the stars about all things General Hospital past and future. Ever since somebody brought up Brenda's name, you can't stop thinking about her. And tomorrow, Brenda returns to General Hospital. It's all part of the hottest week of the summer. And it all starts right now. You're watching a special General Hospital Marathon. Brenda Barrett's men. Brenda's favorite men are Sonny and Jax. Jax came in and kind of saved her from Sonny's crazy world. But now, what might the future hold for Brenda and Jax when she returns to Port Charles? It's probably one of the best times for Brenda to arrive. He may be available. Watch what happens when Brenda Barrett returns on an all-new General Hospital tomorrow. Brenda Barrett's men continues right now. I don't know what else to say. Except I am sorry that you were hurt. But I can't be sorry for loving Tony because he is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Don't I remember that feeling. I haven't heard Tony sing in a long time. I never liked this place. I always thought it was so old and decrepit. I can never understand why he liked to hang out here. You've made it new for him. You're new. Nothing really bad has ever happened to you yet. I've had the highest highs and the lowest lows of my life with Tony. And I guess I thought that those highs would be enough to carry us through some of the worst pain we ever imagined. But it wasn't enough. I wonder if the highs you and Tony are making here will be enough to keep it going. I guess you'll never know if you don't try, will you? Bobby. Hey, uh, if you're worried I might try to stop you, don't be. I couldn't fight this even if I wanted to. No. I just never thought I'd have to. I just want you to know something. When I came to Port Charles, I never thought anything like this would happen. Well, Carly, you'll find that most of life is like that. In a weird way, I must wish you well. I, uh, I didn't think you'd uh, be here. Well, I thought all the people who care about Brenda should be on hand to wish her well. Mm. Does that number include your son? I don't believe Sonny was invited. That never stopped him before. So, uh, Reverend, what do you think about this modern trend of people making up their own wedding vows? Well, why should I object? When you have done as many of these weddings as I have done, you're grateful for the variations. I could never imagine a wedding being boring. <laughs> well, not the ones that take place in this house, that's for sure. <laughs> I haven't seen Mrs. Quartermain yet. Oh, actually, she's upstairs resting. The show's running a little late. <laughs> yeah, I'll have Reginald get her as soon as the bride's ready. Uh, should I be helping the bride? Couldn't hurt. I'm on my way up there right now to see if it's time. 
Why don't you come along and we'll gather up the groom, too. Oh, boy, must be a quivering mass at this point. Oh, well, I don't know Jax that well, but I really don't imagine that. I think himself has a case of nerves as well. Excuse me. Now, I just explained away that look on your face. Now, will you kind of explain it to me? <laughs> Probably just the shock of seeing you in a dress again. I don't know why you wear those infernal trousers all the time. You look awfully good to me. Oh, cut the bull, John. What's wrong? I'm just getting anxious for this shindig to get started, is all. That look is way past anxious. Here it is, the boy's happy moment, and you're quaking in your boots. Now, what's wrong? We're keeping them waiting. So we're worth waiting for, aren't we? You were. I hope you like what I wrote. Uh, it was really hard for me to write down what I feel in my heart. Nothing you can say can be better than what you just told me. I just hope I can get my vows right without embarrassing you. <laughs> I, mean, I, I kept trying to practice and rehearse them in front of the mirror, but it came out all gibberish. Oh. <laughs> Finally, I had to write them down. Honey, come on now. You speak before board meetings and leaders of industry, practically heads of state. Yeah, but this is important. Have I told you how gorgeous he looked tonight? Thank you. But you know what? No one's going to be looking at me. Not with the most beautiful bride in creation walking down the aisle. Brenda isn't in her room. Huh? Um. Are you guys crazy? Don't you know this is bad luck? <laughs> you couldn't wait five minutes. Oh, come on. We're already married. Besides, we have enough luck for mad lives. Mm -hmm. Whatever, you guys. I'm sorry, hello, but I'm gonna have to go downstairs and tell everyone that you guys broke the rules. Not to worry. <sighs> um, isn't there a caveat about this? Yeah. We're ignoring it. <sighs> oh. Okay. So, are you ready to be walked down the aisle? Actually, no. I'm not. 